what it was like being a gang member? Was it worth it and would I do it again? Those are the, the questions. I'm going to have to be honest and some are not going to like that. Let's get into this video. Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. I was picked to my back for my shoelaces. Got out, should have seen the look on they faces. All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper. Set up by the crew, they done put a banger in the trunk of my car and left me to hang there. No thing, then attorney went and beat the case. Got a job digging holes for minimum wage. Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me. Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing. Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling. Six time failing, I went back to prison. Got my head right, got my bread right. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right, I got a mission. Trying to get back to my boys in the prison. The old me's gone, I ain't never. What's up guys, my name is JC, I am Wrong Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my team, mi familia, mi raza, you already know what time it is. Suantela Suburban, because we're about to go see Jesus. What's up, fellas? <laughs> Welcome to another day. <sighs> all in your name, all in your glory. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you for your mercy and everything. <laughs> A gang member, a group of associates, friends, members, even families have, have been gang members. <laughs> uh, it, it's being part of a small army of broken kids and young men. Um, and usually the, the older men are very, very broken through a lot of uh, hurt, trauma, a lot of stuff that they already been through. So it's these older <laughs> older men that are really, really broken, leading these young men into these these dark streets. They, they give them a, a feeling of, of belonging to something. So it, it attracts these kids. A lot of these kids are, are looking for, for love. If you are hurt, they'll go back and, and hurt those that were responsible, but this has been a cycle that's been happening in Chicago. It's just something that's been used by the devil. You, you start to see the older gang members, you know, the nice expensive cars, jewelry, the, the name brand clothes, the, the women, the drugs, the power, the, the leadership. They're pretty much the judges and, and the executioner. So you grew up seeing this and you start gravitating towards it and you almost start to, to love it like they're they're they become your idols you get that feeling that if you put in enough work you, you'll be there one day and the sad part is that most kids get killed by the age of 20 and most of them end up in prison with pretty big terms at 24 they never make it then comes all the murders that happen in front of you around you I mean, it's constantly happening all the time. It, it, you see it on a regular basis. So it does something to you. The car chases, the running for your life. I don't think a lot of people have really, really had to run for their life where they know if they get caught, they're, they're, they're dead. So all these things start to change you. And, and we're just, we're adding on as we go. Then the beatings that you get here and there, fights, you get beat up really bad. Sometimes you get beat up almost, almost close to death. You get shot at. You're pretty much fighting to stay alive every day. The times that you were shooting, the times that you were chasing them, the times that you were ramming them off the street, your heart's going from zero to a hundred in like minutes. Your, your flight and fight mode is constantly on, never turning off. 
and you're living your life like this. Sometimes it's just one time, and then there's times that it's just all day, every day, but always on, always paranoid, always checking your back, always looking at your mirrors. You have to check who's at the red light before you even come up to the red light. Your heart starts to turn to stone. You start to hate and the hate starts to take over your mind. Now, let's add the drugs on top of all those feelings and all that brokenness. I mean, let's be honest, it's a breeding ground for sin that the enemy loves to see on those broken streets. Young broken men led by men even more broken with hearts of stone. We can sit here and come up with every scientific term we could possibly think of and, and, and all these answers like, like they told me, you know, PTSD, coming from a single parent home, trauma, molestation, drug abuse, homeless, rape. I, I mean, we could come up with all of these things. I mean, that, that, was, that was me. The answer is God. For true change to last, not one year, two years, for it to last, it must be done in the heart. God will lead the way to faith. It's faithful, not perfect. I tried a lot of programs and yes, they, they work and they have a time and place in your walk. But for true forgiveness, it is true, Jesus. I gave my life to Jesus and it's the only time where I felt my heart start to change. I'm not here to sell you nothing. This is free. So if you have lived like a, a life the way that I have, and so you understand me, why would you not try it? It, it works. I give you my word, but in order to stay on this narrow path, because it is narrow, I, I won't lie to you about that. Yes, it is narrow. You will be different from everybody else. You won't talk the same. You won't walk the same. It is narrow. But in order to walk that narrow path, you need to understand the map. It will get you there through faith. Scripture, trusting God, living your life for Him because He sent His Son to die for yours. A lot of people say, well, I'm not, I'm not religious. I don't read like that. I don't go to, I always tell them, start little, start, start today. Start with just getting to know him, talk to him, tell him how you're feeling, but not just one day when you're feeling a certain way, do it every day. Be disciplined about it in your car, at work, at the gym. Just start talking to him. Tell him how you feel. You'll see what I mean. You have to give it time and you have to be disciplined about it. So, was it worth it? Would I do it again? I lost my soul. I lost me. I lost my freedom, my peace, my hope, my self esteem, my mind, my kids, my self respect. And it was all because I was living a life without God. Today I understand the importance of, uh, like, how important it is to live a life for God. To fear Him more than anything on this world. And not to fear Him in, in any, like, I'm scared, no, it's that I know how blessed I am and I know how covered in blessings I am because He's my Father and He, he takes care of me. I am His Son. 
Uh, today, I understand the, the healing part of this walk. I understand the storms, the test. I understand that it's God first before anything. My name is JC. I am Wrong Strong. Hey, stay in your lane, live savage, and remember, live for him. It's a money back guarantee, guys. I mean, what can I tell you? I'll catch you guys in the rebound.